Johnny, could you tell me the story about this Bruegel, l'ancien, yes, the older? In, in, indeed. This is, was painted in 1616. It's signed and dated 1616 down here. And is unusually well, large. I can't see. Uh, just along, underneath the dog. Do you see? Okay, okay. Bruegel, 1616, fake it. And normally he was painting? He was uh, signing and yes, giving no, a date? And he signed most of his pictures, but this is unusually big for him. I mean, it, it is a small piece of copper, but normally you find them about this size. This is quite a solid piece of copper. And we think it might have been a commission, perhaps, for the Archduke, mm. who was his patron, because this is Bruegel himself. Where? Uh, standing here with the But hat. how can we be sure about that? Because there's a portrait of him by Rubens, and the figure is exactly the same. Wow. And this is his family in the background with his wife and his children. Uh, so it's probably a commission from the Archduke, because it then went to the Elector Palatine and was in the Altman Architect in Munich uh, from 1838 to 1923. Wow. It's always been in fantastic collections. But uh, um, Bruegel, the older, produced a lot, right? He was quite prolific, he certainly was, and um, one of the greatest, the most innovative artists of the 17th century. Uh, but this, what is extraordinary about this is the condition is as pristine as the day it was painted. So it, he's used pure colors like um, scarlet vermilions, lead whites, lapis lazuli for the sky. And it's painted on copper, which is why it has this wonderful uh, luminescence. But how can it uh, have been preserved? I think probably because it never really changed hands. It was in princely collections since the 17th century. Mm. So it may have been only cleaned once or twice. It was in the Bavarian Royal Collection in 1810 and Schleis Schleisheim, um, and we even know where it hung. Um, but uh, uh, so how can you, how can you give a price today for this extremely kind Extremely of difficult. I mean, we have to go by perceived wisdom. Um, the gentleman who bought it is an American collector. He's asking $10 million for it, uh, which as I pointed out to somebody today is about a quarter of the price of a Rothko. Uh, so <laughs> so um, actually as one of the greatest um, Bruegel still uh, landscapes left in private hands. I don't find that so expensive. It's a great masterpiece. Yeah, but uh, it's not the same kind of uh, buyers. No, they're more sophisticated buyers. Um, you don't need. I mean, I don't particularly like a big white canvas with a pink splodge in the middle. This, 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 <laughs> this is much more sophisticated. <laughs> yeah, but in his time, he was a very commercial artist. Absolutely. He was not considered as so sophisticated. Absolutely. That's so, so true. It's, and of course, you know, every artist is contemporary once. Uh, he was once a contemporary artist, but I find that the refinement and the detail, when you go up into the, into the village at the back, Yes. If you go into the village in the background here, you can see people coming out of the inn and horsemen. There's incredible detail into the very far distance. Merci beaucoup.